Hey, uh, very good morning, guys. Uh, welcome to Exams Manak here. My name is Raj, as you can see my picture here. So I'm back with 10 words. I'm sorry, I, was, I didn't make videos uh, for two or three days. I was not well. I'm still not well. So I'm so sorry if I sound a bit low. So I have 10 words which would be very important if you're preparing for any exam. Okay, it, 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 can, it could be... Um, IELTS or TOEFL or UPSC, SSC, PSC or others or if you just want to improve your communication skills so these words would uh, really enhance your com uh, communication skills and put a, put, a very, uh, put a very good impression on others okay if you use them in your uh, communication skills okay so please bear, uh, bear with me guys watch this video full and I would appreciate I would appreciate if you just uh, like this video and subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends and as well as with your enemies okay and uh, I have a question for you so uh, you can see this uh, uh, green crea creature here okay so I want you guys to tell me three different names of this green creature okay uh, not in English obviously I know crocodile or alligator instead of these words uh, in your language, what do you call this creature? Okay, in your language. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. So, awesome people. So, our first, first word is connivance. So, it means the act of allowing an illegal action to take place. So, as you can see in this picture, there's, there are persons who are, allow, who are giving bribes to each other. So, they are allowing an illegal action to take place. So, you can use this word connivance for this kind of uh, situation okay or this kind of act so the synonyms would be collusion uh, complicity collaboration involvement okay the antonyms would be disagreement disparagement judgment okay so you might have seen people doing these kind of activities in your daily life okay or in politics or in other at any other place okay so you can use connivance for these kind of acts for example, due to the connivance of corrupt police officers, dealers have been able to sell illegal things inside local schools. So you might see, might have seen this thing, these uh, kind of things in your daily life. Okay, so you can understand the meaning of this word very clearly. The next word is impeccable. So it means perfect in every way. So uh, uh, this word goes for girls. They always think they are perfect in every way. So the girls can use this word for themselves, even the boys if you think the same, okay. So uh, actually nothing is perfect, So, but that is the other thing, okay. So the synonyms would be flawless, faultiness, unblemished, spotless, stainless, two things which are perfect in every way. So you can use impeccable for those kind of stuff. You can use this, kind, this, uh, this, uh, this word for things which you think are perfect for uh, in every way okay the antonyms would be obviously info imperfect sinful for example impeccable is not a human quality as a woman a woman makes a mistake as i said nothing is perfect okay it just depends on your perception if you think things are if you think things are per perfect you can use impeccable for that okay uh, the next word is exa exacerbate exacerbate okay so it means to increase the severity or worse okay so as you can see in this picture the, there is a hand and I think there is a person who is uh, smoking so you can uh, now understand the meaning of this word because if you smoke you can you increase the severity or make things works, uh, worse for you so synonyms would be aggravate make worse worse and inflame compound all, all these all these words are very easy easy okay so antonyms would be calm reduce so if you in, when you increase the severity of uh, or make things worse for you you can use exacerbate for that but when you reduce the severity or make things good and calm for you you cannot use exacerbate because that becomes the opposite of this word the ex example would be yelling does not uh, does nothing but exacerbate a heated conversation by increasing the hostility, hostility okay so obviously when uh, just imagine you and your uh, friend uh, is uh, are going you and your friend are going on on a uh, uh, on a subject and the you you notice that your person your friend starts yelling uh, on you 
so obviously it increases uh, the it increases the hostility of the conversation and uh, you both will you both find yourself uh, with no conclusion okay so the next word is adjunct so it means a thing added to something else as a supplement a supplementary rather than an essential part something that is joined or added to another thing but not a part of the whole so it means a, um, a helper basically so you can see in this picture there is a person who might uh, there is a person in red who is not well and can't walk on his own so there is a other person who is in black who is trying to help this person okay so you can use this word for the for the person who is trying to helping help the other person so for example the synonyms should be supplement addition accompany, accompaniment uh, complement the antonyms should be on supporting dominant obviously when you are supporting you are adjunct when, when you are not supporting you are dominant the example computer technology it is an adjunct to learning okay a very basic example the next word is mollify so friends if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends because uh, i always try to include uh, very good words so that you can inc increase your communication skills and if you are preparing for government any or any exams you uh, you would be able to crack it the next word is mollify it means to soothe in temper or deposition okay so as you can see in this picture there are two persons who are arguing on a subject or uh, who are arguing and there is a person th there is a third person who is trying to calm both uh, who is trying to pacify both of them pacify the both okay so you can use this mollify for this third person okay so the synonyms would be appease placate pacify okay obviously uh, conciliate conciliate so antonyms would be engage in flame aggravate forms uh, for example, the manager tried to modify the angry workers by giving them longer breaks. Obviously, a very easy example and basic, basic example, easy to understood. Understand? Uh, the next word is proctor. It means an officer, as certain universities appointed annually and having mainly disciplinary function or invigilate. Okay, so you, in your exams, you uh, you know who is an invigilator. Okay, so the person who is assigned to invigilate. You can use uh, proctor for that person. The synonym will be, will be uh, invigilate, watch, keep an eye on, uh, watch over, observe. Okay, so invigilate the work of an invigilator is to observe and to keep an eye on the students who are giving exams so that they can't cheat. Okay, and uh, they can't misbehave. For example, 18 percent of the faculty reported that graduate assistant frequently proctored exams written person of the faculty of the reported of the universities university were uh, frequently proctored exams so very basic example the next word is uh, aforementioned okay so it means regarding someone or something previously mentioned so as you can see uh, i can explain you this picture but you might have not know the meaning of hipposcopus so the Meaning is a foresaid, foregoing, forenamed, or said the things which are already already said, and now it's the same thing is happened in the present. So you can use aforementioned for that kind of things. For example, none of the aforementioned candidates are worthy of becoming governor of our state. Okay. The next word is mimic. <coughs> Sorry, a person is skilled in imitating the voice. Okay, so a person. Skilled in imitating the voice or actions of others in an entertaining way. Obviously, you have seen people who imitate the uh, politicians or actors in a in a comedy co comedy way in order to uh, mix comedy. Okay, in order to make entertainment. Okay, so you can use this word mimic. Obviously, okay. So the synonyms we imitate, copy, impersonate. The antonyms antonyms would be authentic. So. Uh, things which are copied with they, they are not authentic bona fide legitimate genuine natural real very basic word example will be his brother can mimic the barking of a dog to perfection Scare, uh, scaring thieves away from his property so very talented boy i guess the next word is paradigm so it means a typical example or model of something so 
uh, you might have seen soldiers who fight in war and when they uh, got get victory uh, they are said to be a typical uh, they are said to be example or model of of uh, victory okay so you can use paradigm for those kind of uh, things or persons okay the example would be because dr jenkins has worked in the field of physics for a long time he is considered as a paradigm of physics knowledge by everyone in the church so very basic example and the last word is ambit it means the scope extent or bounds of something okay so as you can see in this picture the person who is in white has uh, draw, drawn a, a line and he is telling the other person who is in blue that do not cross in li this line otherwise i will i will um, beat you or i will crash you okay so the synonyms would be boundary confines limits range reach sweep view very basic words so instead of using these words like boundary limits range uh, reach you start using ambit it really improves your communication uh, skills the example would be a full discussion of this complex issue a complex issue is beyond the ambit of one book okay so very basic example so these were the 10 words for today i'll try to make uh, these videos on daily basis as soon as i um, uh, okay as soon as soon as i make myself comfort comfortable because i'm as you all know I'm, I'm not well right now so i tried to make video today uh, i hope you guys liked it so please if you liked it uh, like this video and subscribe to my channel and share this video with, with your friends okay so that's all for today thank you very much have a nice day